In this video, I'm going to show how to create a new document in Adobe Illustrator CS6. It's pretty simple. Once you open the program, you'll see on a Mac, you'll see Illustrator at the top left. On a PC, you should see it at open as well this way. And you should see a file menu, whether you're on a Mac or a PC. And just what you'll just need to do is choose File New. You see the shortcut key is Command N on a Mac. It's control in on a PC to do the same thing. This gives you the option in the new document dialog box to name the file. I'm going to name mine Apple. You don't have to name it at first. You can name it when you save it. Um, it will ask you again when you save. Um, now I'm going to I'm going to choose um, a document profile. Um, you have several profiles. Whether you're ch creating a web page, something for print, something for a device. If you're making something for film or video, you have several presets there. I'm going to choose print, as like I'm creating a print document. I'm going to choose um, one artboard. I'm going to leave that. Size is going to be letter. You can change that to several presets there. Um, my width and height automatically populate in points. I'm going to change the units from points to inches. You can change it to centimeters, millimeters, pixels, or leave it as points as you wish. You can also change it to landscape or portrait right here or you could just change the numbers um, and then you have a bleed if you want to change the bleed settings. You also have some advanced settings for print your settings will be in CMYK if you're doing a web page it will be RGB and some of these other settings may change for other presets as well. Um, you also have some templates down here. You might want to check out those as well. Um, that's pretty much all I want to set, so I'm going to hit OK. That brings up my new artboard. This is a blank artboard. You can think of it like a piece of paper on a desk. So this whole thing is like my desk. This little rectangle is my artboard. That is my 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. So in future videos, I'm going to show you how to place an image into Adobe Illustrator and begin your actual illustration.